All right, I want to dive a little bit deeper into MailChimp and their free, now free, recent development, probably April or May of 2017, their marketing automation or their email automation, uh, because this is not just a thing or a thing that's going to help you out. This is the most important thing. Email marketing, marketing automation is what every internet business relies on for profitability. Before that, it's all about customer acquisition. You know, your first sale is if you can break even on your first sale, awesome. If you can make a little money in your first sale, all the better. And even if you lose a little money on your first sale, ultimately, it doesn't really matter because marketing automation, email automation, uh, and follow-up funnels, whatever you want to call them, is going to be the difference. And it doesn't matter if you're doing e-commerce. It doesn't matter if you're selling your own courses. It doesn't matter if you're uh, blogging and collecting emails. Email marketing is the number one greatest return on investment. I think it's something like three or four thousand percent on dollars spent. So once again, you know, your your ads, your first sales, if you can break even on those, you're ahead of the game. And that's what's so great about e-commerce right now. Is I know it's a little tricky, it can take a little time, but once you get dialed in, you can actually make money on your front end sale, which is just unheard of. So let's dive into this uh, automation. We've talked about the abandoned cart uh, automation that is available in MailChimp. So that video is uh, located within the mastermind group here. So go ahead and search that out if you haven't already done so. Also, uh, you know, the thing you're going to have to do before you get to this point, obviously, if you haven't already done so, is get your Shopify store and your free MailChimp account integrated with each other. There are videos to help you out and it's easy to do so make sure you jump on that right away but once you get that done let's go back into the automation tab here and we're going to set up a new automation what i want you to do is go over to view all automations and the automation we're going to talk about today is the first purchase automation go ahead and call this whatever you want let's call this first person follow-up What is that hyphenated? I don't really know. Uh, make sure your store is selected and then click next. So what this is, is this is going to be the purchase or the email, excuse me, the email sequ sequence that follows a customer's first purchase. Now we're going to show as we go down here, it's really easy to set up. The idea here is over time, you're going to set up an email follow-up series that goes I mean, forever, really, uh, but at least you know six months, at least a year, you know. But really, once they're a purchasing customer, there's no reason you shouldn't be emailing them for the rest of their existence. Now, you can do this uh, manually uh, by just sending broadcast emails once a week. The problem is, is you're not going to do it for the most part. Uh, trust me, it, your your emails need to be automated, otherwise. Before you know it, you'll go three weeks and you'll have forgotten to send one and you're losing out on money. Now, that doesn't mean your email, you're, you, can't, you can't supplement, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, with your email series, okay? So what you're going to do is on your, your email follow-up series, if it's just general, it doesn't have a specific purpose, it's not a specific funnel, it's just for your e-commerce store, let's say, then you're going to send them an automated email every couple weeks for eternity and you can easily set that up through this uh, automatic automation. But the other thing you do is then say every week, you send them an email through a broadcast saying, you know, here's the special we have today or here's the new product we got in or whatever. This automated series, and that's an important point, this automated series is gonna be one of two things. And I'm gonna talk about something I probably haven't talked about before. The first thing it could be is it's going to promote your best sellers, your your consistent, or I guess I should say your constant products with high margins, okay? The products that no matter what comes, no matter what happens, you're always gonna have in your store because it's a pain in the butt to remember what emails you created and it's a pain in the butt to find which one, you know, after you get, you know, 30 emails spread out over the course of six months, it's hard to find, you know, which one had that one product you're not gonna remember. So this has to be products you plan on carrying in your store forever and not changing the URLs and just leaving there. Now, the other thing you could do here, which is kind of another principle, like I said, I haven't really talked about this, but this, it, I mean, this could be, I don't want to say it could be the rainmaker, but this is what could set your brand apart. And what you could do here is you could use drop shipping for your, you know, 
customer acquisition. For instance, you can drop ship hot, hot products or high margin products or whatever's trending. That way you can kind of build that that customer base, maybe make a little money up front if you get some good ads or at least break even. And then what you can do is you can go to Alibaba if you have the ability, say for instance, if you're located in the country you're shipping to, you could you could source the products. Now, if you're not located in the company that, or excuse me, in the country that you're shipping to, you could also still source the products and send them to a fulfillment center in the country that you're shipping to. Okay, so for instance, if you live in the UK, but you're promoting in the US for whatever reason, you could source products and have them sent to a fulfillment center in the US. And what I'm get, the point I'm getting at is these are going to be products that you're going to source and then ship yourself and you could promote these products in your email follow-up series okay that way you have consistent prices you you know what your costs are going to be you can decrease your shipping times i mean this is perfect if you happen to live in the country you're promoting in because i mean you can literally store these at your house or your office or, or wherever you want to store them and anytime someone orders a product these are going to be the products that are going to sell the most, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, because you're going to be marketing them to everybody who makes a purchase. So just a, a couple of theories there. Don't want to get too complicated. Don't want to get too off base here. But let's go into sending our purchase follow up emails here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to look at this trigger. Now, the default trigger they have here is one hour after the subscriber purchases anything from your from your store. Now this can be used for you know, a welcome or a thank you email, but my philosophy is they get so much stuff when they purchase, you know, the confirmation and you know, they're probably checking their credit card statement. If they're paying with PayPal, they get an email from PayPal and it's just a lot of information. So what I like to do here is I would edit this trigger. And what I would do is I would wait three days after their first purchase to send the first email. Go ahead and update the trigger. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you about is edit the schedule because the default schedule is every day, all day. And what that means is they'll send it any day of the week, which is fine by me, but they'll send it as soon as possible. We don't necessarily want this. What we want to do is we want this to send at a specific time. And if you're in the U.S. or if you're marketing to the U.S., maybe like 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern would be great because that way at the West Coast it would be 4 p.m., the East Coast it would be 7 p.m., either way that's a good buy time. So that's what I would suggest, and then save that schedule. And you'll have to change that for every email that you send. So once you get that set up, then you just go in and design your email. And I'm not gonna go through the uh, whole process here because it's pretty user-friendly, and it's just gonna take some time. It's just gonna take some practice on your part to get good at it. But the thing is, is MailChimp makes it almost drag and drop, super simple. You'll find that it's really pretty easy. So you're going to see this is just kind of your internal, this is what you're going to call it. But since this is a first email, it might be good to just say something like that as well. Thank them for their purchase or thank you again for your purchase. Because anytime uh, you're sending them an email about their purchase, that they still haven't received, they're gonna be interested. They're most li likely gonna open this email. Um, and if they're you're sending this three days after their purchase, they probably haven't received yet, especially if you're drop shipping. Uh, just make sure your thumbnail, name, your email address is all good, and that should all be from when you set that account up in the beginning. It should be default and, and just how you like it. Uh, after you get that set up, and this is gonna be your email subject, you can put emojis in there. If you want, that can help get uh, open rates sometimes. So go ahead and hit next. Now you're gonna create your emails and they have a bunch of great templates here. And once again, I'm not gonna go into this uh, too in detail, but as simple as uh, setting up uh, or clicking on a template and then you just kind of fill in the blanks. You know, you, you upload your logo here. Uh, since this is the first email, you don't want to be too salesy. You just want to just, you know, welcome and thank you. You know, just be very gracious that they purchased something for you. Uh, put a nice image here that kind of depicts your brand's look and feel. Um, down here, just say something like, we hope you whoops, enjoyed your shopping experience. 
and then maybe down here say something like uh, we are working hard to get your recent purchase to you as fast as possible or something like that just reassure them that yes their product is on the way and then maybe down here you can try to even try to sell something in this email why not um you know this is they're you know they're guaranteed to almost almost guaranteed to open this email because they're talking about a product they haven't received yet so maybe something like uh while you wait take a look at what's new and then you could go down here and click this link and send them to your Shopify stores homepage. Um, you can put images of products in here that you are always going to carry or your hottest products if you'd like to do a little description about it and send them to that specific product page. You can even send them to like maybe a specific uh, collections or something like that. So for instance, maybe it would say something like shop uh, scarves and then do a little description and then just put your link right here to you know your your scarves collection and then over here maybe you put you know shop hats or whatever and then just do something about hats and then put a link there to your hats collection and then just put images here by editing that or replacing that and put a hat here and a scarf here or something like that you know just something that you're always going to have on your store and then you save and close that and save and continue. And now that first email is sent. You know, three days after they make their first purchase, they're gonna send them this email to thank them, offer or ask them or welcome them back to buy more. And you know, from there, you just keep doing this. And the, you know, the cool thing about this is this is only a first purchase uh, funnel or follow-up or autoresponder series. So if they purchase something here, you know, they're not going to be sent back into this you know, follow-up series or funnel or workflow and get this sent to this email again three days later. So that, I mean, that's why marketing automation is so powerful. You're sending them emails based on, on it, really their interaction and, and intention, and it keeps everything organized for you. Down here on your second email, there's going to be a trigger to send this uh, X number of days after your previous email, and that pattern will continue. It's always going to be X number of days after this previous email so maybe after this one you know you definitely want to wait until you're going to make sure the customer has received their initial product so let's say your average ship time is 12 days maybe we'll send you know this one three days after their purchase so let's make this at least uh, 12 days after their purchase so they'll technically get this email 15 days after their first purchase so we'll just go ahead and edit that tr trigger uh, we're going to have them wait 12 days and update that trigger once again we want to send this at a specific time so any day of the week is fine but we want to send this at let's say 7 p.m. Eastern save that schedule go ahead and create another email maybe you're talking about a product that you've sourced maybe you're talking about uh, you know a product that does well for you on your store that you're always gonna have and then just keep going through this and you know maybe wait another 15 or 20 days and send them another email and then add another email and wait another you know 15 or 20 days and send them another email and just break this out so they're constantly and maybe not constantly but consistently getting offers from you because this is free advertising this is how you win the advertising game you acquire the customer and then you market to them for free now you don't want to spam them with offers but try to provide a little bit of value here and there maybe you know tell a funny story or talk about some a trend that you know you know is going to be active for the next year or two or whatever just get creative and you can do this i mean this is the key this is the key to profitability after you're done you just save and exit or click next i guess i should say obviously it's i've got some errors in mind but go ahead and confirm and it'll be set up and ready to go and it's as simple as that and remember email marketing automation it's the key to success in business so please look into it i know it's a lot to take in especially if you're just getting started but it is important it's super important really important thanks for watching